How does Everlane deliver such stunning pages that are personalized to every visitor? The tools, techniques, and workflows they use are pretty interesting, so let's dive in. First, they split up their pages into unique sections. These sections are individually managed in a CMS and delivered over an API. So the marketing team can make many variations of the announcement bar and publish those and target those separately from the rest of the page. In order for every visitor to see unique content, they statically generate a page shell that you see above. So the header will deliver instantly, and then the individual content sections are fetched immediately from an API and then rendered. Another common technique for this that they're actually moving towards is CDN rewrites. This allows you to deliver the entire page near instantly without those subsequent requests. In order to do this, we'll want to save certain things as cookies. So when visitors browse the Everlane site, if they tend to browse women's wear collections, we can save in a cookie that this visitor tends to shop women's wear. Now at the CDN, we can read that cookie. And when we see a request coming in for the home page, we can rewrite that URL to include key value pairs we care about like the audience shops women's wear or men's wear. You can add as many of these key value pairs as you like and pre-generate these page variations. Everlane uses this technique on way more than just the home page. Many other pages are split into sections and the content can be personalized on a per section basis. So in this case, we may have targeted a special hero on the collections page to this collection and potentially to this visitor. The CMS Everlane uses is builder.io. This one's a bit unique and that allows you to register your components and gives you a low code drag and drop editor so they're marketing teams can drag and drop to create these sections and variations using their design system of components and deliver them through their framework, in this case, Next.js. And you can use this technique with just about any site structure. In the colored boxes, those might be the areas that your marketer should control, either with a drag and drop editor or some other structured CMS. And the gray areas are places that probably should be soldered onto the code with the developers maintaining the control of. 